I'm Drew, and on this episode of The Guide to Georgia Outdoors, we're going to bring you part two of the Trap to Table Whole Hog Cooking. On part one, my buddy Blake, he captured the hog, he killed it, he scalded it, and he gutted it and cleaned it. So today, on part two, I'm going to prep it, I'm going to inject it, marinate it, rub it down, put it on the smoker, and get it to that table. All right, so we're going to kind of butterfly this open. It's important. I've already started. Uh, some of the membrane on this rib, you really don't want to be eating that. I don't like it. Some people don't pull the membrane off. The best ones do. We want to come down this backbone and butterfly it a little more. This will help the pig lay flat. So when it sits on there, it'll cook evenly on the smoker. All right, so before we rub it down and inject it, you want to give the pig one last look over and remove anything that you personally would not want to eat. See, we have right here, we have a gland. Uh, I don't know many people that want to eat that. Maybe somewhere in another country here in the good old US of A. I do not believe we do. All right, so anytime you're cooking with a small pig like this that doesn't have a lot of body fat, you're going to want to inject it to make sure that it stays moist and the meat doesn't dry out. So today we're going to uh, put some apple juice and we're going to inject it into all the main points. The hams, the shoulders, try to get down into the tenderloins. One thing I've never heard is somebody complained that this meat was too moist. Alright, so this next step is really more of a preference. Um, there's some people who will just put a dry rub on a pig. Me personally, I like to use mustard. Uh, this mustard will add a little flavor to the pig. But its main purpose is just to keep all of the seasoning on the pig so it's cooking the whole time. So all of your meat, uh, anywhere that you're going to put seasoning, you need to make sure the mustard is on it. Here we go. Now as you can see, uh, no expenses were spared in the making of this video. This is French's. Not that great value. Alright, so we have our whole pig rubbed down with mustard. Now it's time to put a little seasoning on it. Uh, my main ingredients for this, it is a homemade blend, is some brown sugar, salt, pepper, a little garlic, uh, and a few other things that I would rather not share. Uh, so let's go ahead and get on there. All right, so today we're gonna be cooking on the Southern Steamer cooker here. Uh, it does run on propane, I know a lot of you uh, true barbecue uh, enthusiast prefer wood so do I it is raining however so we had to change plans so we're gonna go with this but the great thing about this smoker is it does have a wood box the propane is primarily just going to keep our temp steady we'll put the wood box in we're gonna put uh, some oak chips in I think we have some cherry and some apple we're gonna infuse into it and that'll give it a good smoke taste with the ease and convenience of propane keeping our temperature right where we set it we're going to set it uh, cut side up, skin down, just so as it's cooking and all these juices are running out, it's just going to sit in its own puddle of juices and that will help keep the moisture uh, just perfect on this meat. Uh, I've got the temp set. We're going to try to keep it at about 250 degrees, uh, low and slow. That's the name of the game with this. And remember, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. All right, so we ended up smoking the pig for about four hours. Um, we kept the grill at about 250, 265, somewhere right in there for the whole four hours. Uh, when we checked it that last time, I hit in all the hams and shoulders and even into the loin a little bit. And the internal temperature was anywhere from 170 to 175 throughout the whole pig, so I knew it was safe to eat. So we went ahead and pulled it off, and man, it was some of the tenderest, juiciest meat uh, I've ever had. All right, Drew, we've uh, put a lot of effort into this. We've killed him, mm -hmm. we've cleaned him, scalded him, and you took over, what was your steps? I came in, I butchered him, butterflied him, I rubbed him down, marinated him, injected him, and then threw him on the smoker for about four hours. Well, we know he's gonna taste good, so uh, let's give it a, an official, official taste test, so here we go. Mm. That's right. It's hard to believe that's a wild hog. And I taste almost no game in it. Tender, moist, 
just uh just the whole thing turned out very well i gotta say the guy knows how to handle his meat he's really good with that that's one of his uh good things but you know uh, until the next one i enjoyed this series this part oh, two series i'm looking forward to our next yeah. uh something to table whether it be field or air something well until then this has been the uh unofficial and no doubt incomplete guide to george outdoors Thank you.